Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to King Arthur the Ready Role-Playing War Game. Um, we're not doing terrible. We ended the war here. We're trying to regain Salisbury. And then eventually, if we can get a little bit of a foothold and be set, Sir Mark's going to take like a year to rebuild his army, unfortunately. Then I would like to um, go do some questing. The Liege Lord of the Captain Hero offers you... Who? That lady? She's demanding... Negative 20% movement points of the husband's army. I don't like that. I love children. I hope I have one soon. Dutiful. More food growth and health. She's a proud Welsh lady and she's beautiful. I don't like the fact that she makes armies move slower. So now... Take my advice, my good king. The daughter of a mighty lord has been kidnapped by the warriors of the Shi. And he is willing to do anything he can to get his daughter back. First he recruited the services of Sir Bors, but even this famous knight failed to return from the strange realm of the Shi. This could be the right time to rescue an innocent child and an excellent knight at the same time. Wait, so it's not hid he? Sid he? It's the Shi? So that's how you pronounce it? I've been pronouncing it wrong all this time? Oh man, we're not even through book two! Not even through book two. Why you make us do book three? So, uh, where's the that one? We get the dragon blade if we succeed in that. I don't know where that quest is though. Oh, that's way in the. <laughs> We're just trying to hold on to our kingdom. Come on. Okay, Sir Kay, is your army set? It is. Okay, so the enemy army there—that's very weak. I don't think they can go anywhere. Okay, Sir Kay, can you take this? On my way. Tomb of the Fallen. Excellent. Can you take the stone circle back? Okay, sweet. Salisbury is back under our control. Most excellent. Oh, eventually I want to do that too. We got all these quests outstanding. Can you do this quest here? Can you do this? You're too far away? Alright, fair enough. I just hope the enemy doesn't come down and attack Sir Mark's army as he's healing. If I get a chance, Sir K wants to do that quest, and if his army doesn't get fucked up, I would move them forward. Hungry soldiers? Yeah, I know. Oh, shit. How are we going to help these villagers? These villagers are like... You know what? Fuck, just go talk to the villagers. Oh, see, the villagers want stuff. If we give them enough stuff, they'll um, they'll be loyal for more seasons. They'll be loyal and more rightful. What if we give you this artifact? How do I give offer them that? Here. You can have the artifact. You can... Oh, shit. We don't have anything to offer them. We got no food or anything, because... Army's too big. Sir Kay, go up there and raid the neighbors. There's only two cavalry there. Yeah, we'll just have to attack them. I don't care what. Riverdale? Isn't that where Archie lives <laughs> in Jughead? For a very long time, the ordeals of the war in Britannia have avoided this charming valley. Yeah, let's fuck the valley up. We're gonna go look for Archie and Jughead. And Veronica and Betty. The worms crawl in, the worms crawl out, the worms play pinochle on your snout. They eat your eyes, they eat your nose, they eat the jelly bean between your toes. A big green worm with rolling eyes crawls in your stomach and out your eyes. Your stomach turns a slimy green and pus pours out like whipping cream. And spread it on a slice of bread and that's what you eat when you're dead. Delicious! Okay, I'm not used to this. It's a, I don't know, it's a little dock by the river bend. Okay, a village. I'm familiar with villages and village people. Uh -huh. Somebody built a house? 
Oh, okay, that's a water wheel. For a second, I thought somebody built a house in the river. I was going to be like, that doesn't seem so smart. It's uh, like a fort. Fair enough. Ton of victory locations here. Okay, a keep. None of these are anything I'm really like, I gotta have. I don't really care. I mean, I just want to kill the horses. But I am curious to look at the map as I've not fought here before. And then it looks like another village. Fair enough. Alright, let's, uh... Okay, let's leave the knights alone, I guess. I didn't see what kind of horses they have. That probably would have been a good idea. Uh, knights, why don't you go... Yeah. Okay, knights, you go over here and take the, uh... The dock. We'll have the main army come up here on the hill. Some shit like that. No, actually, I want you on the other side. There you go. We'll put the archers at the top. Apparently, they're not all... That, that'll work. Okay, and there are their tyranny knights. They should... I thought they had two units. They're probably not in Sir Gareth's reign, range, I'm guessing. No, not at the moment. I believe our knights are better than theirs, though. Well, there must be some knights down here. Yeah. Are they within Sir Gareth's range? No. They will be, though. This, uh, it would suck if we lost if their cavalry just ran and took all the victory locations and we couldn't keep up. I'd be so embarrassed. Oh, well, Sir K will make sure that won't happen. There, we're gonna have one victory location. They want another. Oh, Sir Gareth, can you use that? Oh, come on, Sir Gareth, where the fuck are you? Oh, Curse of Shadow. Damn it! That was the Curse of Shadow saying, damn it. They stopped there to take a victory location. That would be the perfect place to use that on. Masterful Tactics? Okay. I don't know what that does, but... Oh, man. What does Masterful Tactics do? 20% damage and armor for all friendly units within a 300... Oh, I should have waited to use that. You guys, come up here near the Ford. Just move the army forward, I guess the archers behind them. Are they just leaving? Where are you assholes going? Oh, you're gonna go take that? Fine, we'll have our knights come down here and take this. Oh, you guys should have a number assigned to you so I can find you easily. Cross the bridge. Ford. What the hell is that? Yeah, it's a Ford. It's a Ford that's got... I don't know why it's got... Yeah, I don't know what that's for. Is that to protect from sea or uh, river whales? So they can't get past your little palisades in the river? Alright, army, let's... Uh, I should have you go... Here, I guess this is a crossing. Yeah, we'll have... Oops, shit. Like that. That. This is going to be an unnecessarily pain in the ass battle at this rate. Uh, at least we have some cavalry. If we didn't have cavalry, we might lose this stupid thing. Even though we terribly outnumber them. Okay, excellent. Get that victory location. Okay, Sir Gareth, can you... Use your Curse of Shadows? Oh, they're still not in range. What about for your... Oh, what the hell? He used it? Where'd... No, I didn't want to select there! Oh, damn it! I did not want it to go off there. That is useless. That pisses me off. You know what, army? Just move across. Damn it, you idiots. That was my fault, I guess. I didn't mean to hit the button and have it 
Off there did no effect. That's my favorite spell. Okay, Calvary, come back around here. Take the other victory location. You know what, Calvary, come back this way. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. I just wasted my best spell accidentally. That sucks. Our knights are actually better than theirs, but they have more guys. Alright, army, just move up here. Get the archers up there. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, I can you use it on them now? Yeah! Sucks that I wasted the first one, but whatever. Yeah, come on, use that cloud of shadows. Suck out all their hit points. I mean, they have to stand there to defend that. Man, that took their hit points down by like 67%. If I'd not fucked up with the other one, we probably could have used it again in a little bit, but whatever. Not the end of the world. Just makes me sad. What are you gonna do now, knights? Knightly McKnightersons? Uh, Bowman, shoot at them. Everybody else, just kind of advance a little bit. This <laughs> battle. <laughs> Uh, at least of, of all the battles I could have fucked up on, right, this is the one to do it on. If there's a battle I'm going to fuck up and actually, accidentally, um, you know, do that, use the, the most important spell the wrong way, it's the one where you're fighting a smaller amount. You guys hit them. You guys hit them. There we go. Quit shooting arrows! Our own guys are there, dummies! Stupid idiots. Oh, we only lost four guys. Good deal. There's a Tom fuckery going on. All right, we got more experience points. We got gold and food. Yeah, I know they're hungry soldiers. We're working on it. That's why we attacked there. What were the soldiers there? Okay, there's nobody there. Plus 10% XP per season to all knights in this location? Holy fuck! We should just sit there and get experience. <laughs> Can we get there? Not in one turn. I would like to do this quest, but I don't think it's worth it. Oh, they got a full army up there. Well, it's not full, but it's almost full. A lot of Calvary. You know what, Sir K, can you... Damn it. Negative 50% food income from taxes? Holy fuck. Is that part of the reason why we're having food problems? Do we have enough stuff now to get rid of these idiots? Um. Uh, wait. What did it say on the thing? Okay. Britannia has become a very dangerous place, and the people need a just king now more than ever. A ruler that can serve justice and offer protection to the defenseless thousands who hide in their villages from famines, war, and the living myths. When they feel abandoned, they start to revolt, but this is still the right time to soothe their pains. Um, I can give them... Let's see. Let's see if we can give them enough help to get them to fuck off. Oh, that's all I got. Do you want this stupid scepter I got? Damn peasants. That sucks. That must be why we're having the food problems, and I didn't. Damn, damn, damn. I. There's not. Not much else I can do. The people are revolting. I find them disgusting, don't you? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I know the soldiers are hungry, okay? How much longer is that going? Ten seasons, fuck. 
Luckily, the enemy was stupid. Sir Kay, go attack them. Attack. Yeah, battle on, dudes. Let's not pick... Uh, let's pick somewhere else. Let's just pick Greenfields. Riverdale had so many... Oh, that was just... There were too many victory locations. Maybe I was just annoyed because I wanted to kill their guys faster. I probably could have done auto battle. Maybe from now on when I get battles that big, maybe I'll auto battle them. I, I mean when I outnumber them so lopsidedly. Whee! Whoa, looks like there's a lot of grain there. We need the food. Please. Alright, this is just going to be a quick one, I hope. Where the hell's our troops? Okay, let's just start the battle. We terribly outnumber these dillweeds, so... You're a group. You're a group. Calvary, you're a group. I don't know where anything is. <laughs> like, sir, shouldn't you have found out? Ah! Fuck that stuff. Alright. Main group of the army, form up here. Archers form up right behind them. What is this place? Tomb of the Saint. Reduces or increases mana cost of every spell according to your faith. Knights. The Knights, why don't you go take that over there if you can. Is that Tourney Grounds? Champion's Tent grants the Sound of Courage spell in its vicinity, which I've never used. So I don't know if it's any good. See what do they got there? They got some axe men. It would be good for us though if we could capture another one of their leaders. And hopefully we can steal some more food for the town. <laughs> I should have realized earlier on how devastating it was that our people are revolting. I didn't realize they were costing us so much in food. I was being a negligent king. I won't lie. I should have looked. The people are like, Meh. I'm like, whatever, shut up. Turns out that wasn't the best executive decision as a way to rule. I'm telling them to just shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, get over it, bitches! Here, let's uh, speed things up a second. Oh shit, shit, shit! Infantry, Infantry right there. Archers. Archers. Sir Gareth, can you use your attack? Boom! Just fucking decimate these bowmen, please. There we go. Man, look at that thing. It's just wiping these dudes out. <laughs> look at what it did. Oh, man, they used to have a bowman army. I mean, they still got some guys, but... That combined with our bows... Well, we'll just put our army up here. Good job, Sir Gareth. Sir Gareth, you dragon's breath on these guys, too. I'm really sick of them. Probably that's overkill, but... We got one victory location. Is their oh, their leader must be there. They got the magic uh, light sticking out. Wow, he's got a pretty badass weapon. I think he I'd throw my back out probably using that. I think it's huge. This guy's like, don't hit me, please. They probably made a mistake, I would guess, putting all their archers up front like that. Okay, Bowman, move forward. Sir Gareth, are you got your Curse of Shadows ready again? Excellent. Let's get these guys as they want to run through it. Uh, I don't know if that protected them. They have some sort of force field. It's Spell Ward. Oh, actually, that probably did protect them. Where are our knights? Oh, they're still trying to get the uh, that place? Cool. Ah, sorry. You guys, who are you? Crusaders, why don't you go take the church? Should have probably had you do that a little bit ago. Why the hell not? You can see their magic shield right there. What's it look like coming up on our army? Come on, our army looks fucking majestic. Our bowmen will probably crap... Crap on these guys? I don't know if that's the military terminology I wanted to use. Our bowmen will. Can you shoot these guys? Oh, maybe they're defended. 
That's, does that defend them? Why can't my guys... No, 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 Archer, stop. Stop. Oh, no. You guys, stop. Just, yeah, like that. Man, I love how Sir Gareth and the Bowman destroyed everything else. Yeah, there we go. Just lay into them as they come up the hill. They gotta come up against our Bowman. There you go. Dropping like flies. I like how it has the hidden in woods thing. We obviously could see they were showing up. Huzzah! For Arthur in Britain! And we lost nobody. All I know is next turn I'm going to do what I should have done. After the winter, I'm going to do what I should have done and buy off the peasants who are unhappy. That probably would have made things so much easier for us. For what it's worth, this is a blind LP. Okay? This is a blind LP of a game that a lot of people say gets difficult. So, later on if I'm crying, you'll know why. Alright, we got some more experience. We got some food. We got a scattering shield. The knight Dever's uncle, who was a bishop, had the shield made for his nephew that he might wage a successful war against the sea magi. Plus 50% magic resistance to the hero's unit? Well, that sounds pretty badass. Okay, what do you already got, Sir K, for your armor? Plus two to rain. Actually, I like that. What do you have, Sir Gareth? Blessed armor. Plus one level to armor of faith skill. What's that? Repels damage. Oh, I don't really care about that. There is magic resistance, but I think this has got more magic resistance. This isn't like 50%. Oh, man. Why don't I give that to Sir Gareth? Here, switch. I'd love to give that to somebody, but... Sir Mark and them are over here. Sir Wayne, the motherfucking insane. <laughs> Oh, I like that, because that regenerates his health. And what's King Mark got? That regenerates his health. Oh, what's this? Plus one to rain? We need to give that to... Balin or... Sir yes, Kay. My lord. What are Sir Kay's things there? He's got... Plus 10% gold income. And plus one to leadership. I would like to give that to Sir Balin, but he's way over there. Never gonna remember that. I think we're gonna take a risk and have Sir K try this mission. The town leader sent an envoy to the king. Many children have gone missing from the area under mysterious circumstances. We need a knight who can find out what happened to them. We're rescuing a lot of kids. Oh, I can pick either knight I want. Uh, we'll have Sir K do it. The town elder awaits you in his house. He tells you what he reported to the court. Over the last few weeks, dozens of children have gone missing, and the people have become desperate. Thus far, the captain of the town guard has led the investigation, but with few results. I, Sir Kay, will talk to the captain of the town guards. The captain of the town guards is an elderly man with a big mustache. He greets you politely, but you see that he is quite impressed by the presence of someone from the famous round table. Uh... You know, I'm just going to ask, just generally makes a small talk. Uh, old man, has any, have any other strange occurrences happened lately? One of my soldiers saw some movement at the base of the East Wall, but by the time he got there, there was nobody there. He thinks he may have seen someone run into the forest, or towards the forest. I see, was there anything else? One evening, a potter on Ashen Street said he heard strange noises from the neighboring house during the night. I didn't even have time to look into it, since I was so preoccupied with the search for missing children. Anything else worth mentioning, old man? Then there was the little girl, who just showed up in front of the town gates. She was frightened, witless. Wouldn't it say a word? A healer has since examined her, but she wasn't able to soothe her. That is all. Okay, what have you found out in general then, old man? <clears throat> 
Unfortunately not much, my lord. We found this black iron metal on the floor of one of the houses where the kids went missing from. But that is all. He replies and hands you a strange, roughly crafted metal with a strange bird claw inscribed on it. I think we're going to go talk to the little girl. You find the little girl and her parents in a small cottage near the town gates. She is quite numb and speechless. She doesn't even look at you when she at you when you try to speak. I asked the parents whether she has said anything since she came back. Um Is that the dad? One night she did start talking in her sleep. She said something like red lily, red hawk lily. It, it makes no sense. Poor thing. I I hope she gets better soon. I, Sir Kay, will go to the house from which the strange noises were reported. Upon reaching the house, you find a door, the door locked. You don't hear any noise from inside. An old woman from the house next door shouts over to you, saying this house has been abandoned for a year now. I'm going to ask the lady if she's seen anything. Old hag, have you seen anything? Or heard anything strange these past nights? She says that a few nights ago, she heard the barn gate being slammed several times. She went out, but it was too dark and she couldn't see a thing. She heard footsteps and several people whispering, but since she didn't want to get mixed up in any trouble, she went back inside. I, Sir K, don't give a fuck about what's going on. I'm going to bash in the door and take a look around. Boom! You kick in the door. Splinters flying everywhere. Inside you find but a few items. A table, a few chairs, but no bed. You carefully look around, but you find nothing suspicious. All right, Sir K. I, Sir K, will go back and look at the courtyard, searching for anything of interest. You take a look around the back of the house. The courtyard is quite in quite a mess. It looks like the place really is abandoned. As you get closer to the barn, you see a fox run through the door. That's odd. They don't usually come this far into town. Uh, we're going to go investigate the barn. Inside the barn, you find a big pile of firewood. Wood. Sacks and baskets. As you step further inside, you find a big hole at the base of the wall. Big enough for a grown man to fit through. There's a ladder inside, at the mouth of the opening. Uh, Sir Kay's gonna climb down the ladder. You climb down into a tunnel. <laughs> oh god, which way is this going? <laughs> Leading straight on, you light a torch and start walking. After a few hundred yards, you arrive at a stone wall which blocks your way. On the wall, you see... Three stone discs with various symbols on their edges. All of them can be turned left or right to point to a symbol. At first, you can only turn one of them. I have absolutely no idea what order I would have to set the dial to. Now, I don't know if this would, like, kill the children or open up a gate. Um, we're going to leave the discs alone for the moment and see if we can try something else. Um, oh, man. Because I don't know what to do with the dial. I, I don't know if I could just fuck around. I'm going to go out of town and search for tracks at the edge of the forest. At the forest, you can see the tracks of several people. The grass is all trodden down, although this might have been done by soldiers. There's also, also a path meandering among the trees. I don't know why that's red. Oh, that probably is an adventure. Oh, our adventure. That's why you want the adventuring thing. I should have sent Sir Mark on this, but his army is... Uh, you know, fixing back up. We're going to examine the tracks more closely. You're not the best tracker, and the guards have already disturbed the tracks pretty badly. You can't make in out anything for the mess they have made. Oh, man. Do I go back to the discs or walk into the forest? Oh. I'm going to walk down the path and watch the forest for suspicious signs. You start walking down the path towards the depths of the forest. The dark crown of trees closing above you. You watch the forest trying to catch a telltale noise or light, but you find nothing. The soldiers probably tried to search for the children this way already. I guess I'll go back to the town to the discs. I have no idea which would be which. Um, let's go with the emerald. Going to the emerald city. You have set the first disc. Now let's see the next one. Oh god, I don't know how to do this. Symbol of a cat. The third, a uh, symbol of a bush. How am I going to figure this out? Okay, near the end there was a bush. Maybe they'll have to be the right color. 
So we'll put the first one to emerald, which would be green. Okay, are any of these animals green? No. Green fish? Huh? Huh? Green bush? Yeah. Fuck! Uh, I'm probably missing something. Ruby! Um. Cats love rubies because they're greedy. <laughs> Fruit! I love fruit! Fuck! There's gotta be a rhyme or reason for how this is supposed to work. It would probably help if I could track. I, Sir K, I'm gonna just sit here and try different permutations. Sir K's magic adventuring skill is perseverance. Oh my word, I did it. It was ruby, bird, flower. Whoever came up with this combination point... Ignored the fact that Sir K is stupid but persistent. I just did about every permutation I could until I got it right. Sir K is like, no, 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 no. Like hours later, his knights are probably like, can you quit? I will not give up on the children. Nope. Dial, when you turn the third stone disc into place, you hear a quiet clack and the obstacle disappears. You keep walking and the tunnel leads into a forest. You arrive at a clearing where you hear voices around a campfire. You see about 50 armed men. They obviously had been too or they obviously had too much to drink. That sounds like a good time. Some of them lie drunkenly asleep. There's a man wearing some ornate clothes who occasionally shouts at orders. He must be the leader. I want to eavesdrop and hear what they're talking about. They are quite loud, so you don't have to go too close to hear them. They are boasting about themselves and who has kidnapped the most children. And what they will spend their rewards on. Meanwhile, they continue to eat and drink. Um, there's only 50 of them. I'm going to join my army and take their camp by force. As you rush into the camp, the bandits stumble around in chaos. Many are woken by the clamor of the battle, and there's little resistance. Some of them surrender. The leaders brought to you by your men. You loot a sizable amount of gold, too. I will spare your life, you asshole, if you tell me where the kids are. He tells you that the druids live near a stone circle to the southwest, about two weeks' walk from here. They went that away with the children, too. He does not know much about them. They sometimes ask for their services, and they always pay well. Um, apparently I told them I would let him live. Oh, fuck it. I'm gonna have the bandits killed. Is there a bad moral choice? I'm gonna have the bandits killed and set out for the stone circle. Fuck them. Oh, plus one to Tyrant. I probably should have just imprisoned them, but fuck it. After you find out where the children were taken, your men slaughter the bandits. Probably should have done that. It doesn't help me with my good stuff, but man, they ain't going to be stealing kids anymore. Now are they? You inform the town elder to, and set out to find the children. We got a bunch of experience points, one point to Tyrant, and a bunch of gold. So that's the next one. So we need magic and fighting skills for that. We're probably not going to get to that one anytime soon. Um, what does the enemy got in here? She's got a more or less full army. It is autumn. Ready to serve. Get in there and can we fill up the ranks? Good. I thought we were going to need more than that. I guess that was kind of pointless, but whatever. Sir Mark can deal with this dickweed then. Well, we did get a bunch of money. Did we get anything else? I wasn't paying attention if we got any items. No. Well, we at least stopped the guys who were doing things. I should not have massacred them. That hurt me with the rightful thing. <laughs> Which matters some with like some of these general advantages like healers and better troops but man it, they were kill they were kidnapping kids i've got more important things to do than put those guys in prison on trial whatever next time we'll do some other stuff i still want to go get sir percival but next time will probably be winter and then we'll do all the winter stuff and then hopefully sir mark will be ready to go campaign <gasps> sorry <clears throat> take it easy everybody